What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Lost Foam Casting video. Today I'm going to try to make this 7 link chain out of solid aluminum. And when I say solid aluminum, I mean each individual link. I want this to be a functional aluminum chain link. So you can see here what I did. I'm going to bury this in sand and I'm going to make it so the aluminum flows into each link all by itself. And I divided, I spaced out each link so they weren't touching each other. So when I coated it with plaster, wall plaster, uh, I tried to fill in in between a little bit. So now when I put it in the sand, hopefully the sand will get in between and take up any space that the, the plaster didn't. So I think this is going to work. I really do. I have high hopes for it. Um, so I'm going to get everything together. I'm going to bury this in some sand. Uh, I'll show you some clips of what it looked like prior to me gluing everything together. Um, let's cross our fingers and hope this works out. I started out with a piece of foam I purchased from Home Depot made by Owens Corning. I then cut out each link with my CNC machine one by one. I'm using the Fox Alien 4040. Now that all the links are carved out, I had to slice the foam in 12.7 millimeters thickness using my hot wire cutter, because remember, I'm using a one inch foam board. Now that the foam board was sliced into roughly the proper thickness you can see here, you could just pop out the foam. If it doesn't pop out, just use an X-Acto knife to get the rest of the foam out to get all your links. Now, with all your links cut out, it's time to start joining them. Joining them is very easy. Just slice down one side, open it up, and slide it over top of the other one. And when that's done, all you have to do is glue it together, one by one. Now you can see here I have all the links glued, looped through each one. For this I used fast grab tacky glue. It did take a little while for it to dry, 24 hours, so I probably should have used hot glue. It would have been much faster. Now when the glue does dry, now you have to attach a sprue to each link on its own. It's easy to do using hot glue like I should have used before. So you attach the glue to one sprue, attach it to the link, and then you can do link by link by link, making sure they do not touch. And when that's all dry, you can glue a larger sprue to the top and then coat it with a thin layer or actually a thicker layer of wall plaster mixed with water. Then you could see that here. That's what the white is on the foam. Now what I'm doing here, this is a process called lost foam casting process. I do this quite often. It does give good results. You just bury the foam in dry sand and you fill it all the way to the top, shaking the bucket lightly to try to fill in all the nicks and crannies. And once you get to the top, you want to put a can, which is going to be used as a pouring basin, where you're going to pour the molten aluminum into. Now what I'm doing here is I'm filling around it with sand to try to hold the container in place so it does not move when I pour the metal in. And now I need to melt metal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Castmaster Lite GG5000 to melt the molten aluminum. I'm going to use a piece of cardboard to put between the plinth block on the bottom and the crucible. This helps prevent the crucible from sticking to the block when you remove it. Now for the aluminum, I'm going to be melting down a cutoff from a past lost foam casting that I did, the Green Lantern Corp coins. I think I did that about three weeks ago. If you didn't see that video, make sure to check that out when you're finished this one.
All right, it's been about, uh, probably about a half an hour. Um, I think it worked. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it out of the sand and we'll see. I think it worked though, because it took a lot of aluminum. So let's find out. Look what I have. It worked. All right, so be honest, be honest. I want to know how many of you guys thought that I was going to be able to pull this off. Huh? This is super cool. And guys, if you stay tuned for a future video, I am going to add something to the end of this. I'm not really sure exactly what yet, but I'm going to add on to this chain. And when I do, I will try to leave a link in the description and in the top corner here when I do. So if you're seeing this video in the future, hopefully you'll see that link. But this, guys, this is super cool. I love it. So if you guys liked it as much as I do, smash that like button, comment below, and stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you.